the latest tech. I'm Alexa. I can answer your questions. Interviews. And we are evolving and we are seeing an amazing opportunity that is happening. Accessibility. Accessibility is, is one of our core values. It's even a part of our mission statement. This is Double Tap TV. Welcome to this week's edition of Double Tap TV. Thank you guys so much for being with us each and every single week. I want to give out a big shout out to some faithful watchers and listeners at home. Debbie writes in a lot to feedback at ami.ca. Skipper doesn't hesitate to put us in our place, I'll tell you. I get those those messages on Twitter at Double Tap Canada. And he uses that hashtag, Ask Double Tap. So you can do the same, and I invite you to do it. We've got a great episode lined up for you. We're going to be talking all about a wearable device from a company that is extremely fond and close to us. I am Mark Aflalo. By my side each and every single week is Stephen Scott. Stephen, TCL is quite a big deal over here and across North America. What about the UK? Do you see TCL's name a lot? No, not really, Mark. No idea who they are. Are they, are they good, are they? Um, yeah, uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. I think you should check them out. Well, you know, it, it is beginning to make itself known to consumers here, but you know, it's in no way a household name. I think like it is in Canada and in North America. So I am going to throw a question back to you for a change, Mark. Um, what are they best known for selling? Oh well, I mean, un- uh, undoubtedly, uh, they are known for their TVs. Their TVs came out probably about five or six years ago. I remember it first launched in the U.S. I remember driving cross border to Target when Mitchell, Mitchell Whitfield, who's uh, you know hosts the show on Sirius XM and is on this show quite often with us, he said, "Mark, you have to check out these TC- TCL 4K TVs. Uh, they're really, really good, and they're extremely inexpensive. And they're also powered. Most of them, anyway, are powered by the Roku operating system. So I drove across the border and I picked up my." My first TCL TV, and man, was that a great buy. Yes, the price tag was what really pushed me over the edge. A 55-inch TV for under $600 Canadian, that was pretty impressive. But the quality definitely met all my expectations and exceeded them. And the fact that they were powered by Roku meant that you had a multimedia player to boot, which has channels to access like, obviously, Apple TV, Amazon, Netflix, everything. And more recently, TCL launched their new lineup of phones in Canada. The TCL 20 Pro 5G is the one that's doing really really well, and I've actually been using as my secondary phone to my iPhone. Well, interesting you mentioned that particular device, because I do have one of these now, courtesy of TCL, who've uh, sent one of these, along with the product we're going to focus on this week. We're going to talk about a new product coming to market soon called Nextwear G. Now, this is a pair of glasses that have two micro OLED screens built into them, that let you consume video content on the move without the need to uh, sit holding your phone or your tablet uh, or even sit with your laptop in front of you. And TCL sent these to you? (laughs) Yes, they sent these to me. Um, I'll I'll be honest, I think that that this is maybe a mistake, uh, if if I'm honest, and maybe you should have sent them your way. Um, But uh, I will, look, I'll, I'll share my thoughts, my personal thoughts on these a bit later. We are going to hear today, though, from Stefan Strait, Uh, on the show uh, from TCL, who is going to talk all about it. And we're also going to quiz them on why TCL have gone down this route and what they hope consumers will get out of them. Okay, but but I have to ask you, like, are they any good? Uh, They are good, yes. Okay. (laughs) Um, I speak hesitantly because I think there's a difference between a visually impaired guy trying these out and the experience that comes uh, with that versus you as a sighted guy trying them out. Yeah, well, they didn't send them to me, the sighted guy. So, uh, you know, do with that, you please. And the good news is you haven't mentioned that for at least, I think, five minutes in conversation. So that's good. You know, relations are clearly improving. Yeah, media relations, by the way. We'll we'll have to have a conversation after the show. But, you know, all joking aside, I'd love to try these out because I can just imagine, for example, you know, lying in bed when my wife is asleep or the kids are around and being able to consume media, to be able to watch Netflix or watch Amazon Prime without having to hold a, a phone up in my face. And by the way, I've dropped that on myself so many times, especially when you get the bigger phone. That is not a fun experience, I'll tell you that. So being able to wear glasses like this that allow me to watch content, obviously with Bluetooth headphones or however they might work, uh, would be pretty cool. I, I don't know if you've ever been to these places where you uh, you go in and you get a scare. Uh, we, we have them here in, in, in England. We have them uh, like places like uh, the London Dungeons, for example, and you go down and they, they scare you, you know, actors jump out, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, that is not as scary as a phone falling on your face. 
It is utterly terrifying, isn't it? I mean, it's that shock you get when it's like, oh, what happened there? Um, but I think these you would love, and I think for the very reasons you're talking about, especially lying in bed, lying back, being able to enjoy content. I think this is where you'd find these enjoyable. Yeah, and I've tried that with my Oculus Quest and my Oculus Quest 2, and it's just not the same kind of experience because they're pretty heavy. Mm. But you talk about dropping that phone on, on you being a scary experience. It's mostly because when that drops is when you're kind of drifting off to sleep. So it tends to wake you at the same time. But well, let's put that aside for a second and let's let's talk about these glasses because I'm looking forward to that conversation with the, with Stefan Streit from TCL and he's on deck and he's going to join us on this week's edition of Double Tap TV. So let's take a quick break and I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions at home. So save those questions or you know what? Just email us now. It's feedback at ami.ca. You can send us an email. Give us all your thoughts, all your questions, and of course on Twitter it is at Double Tap Canada and use that hashtag which is Ask Double Tap. We take a quick break and come back with Stefan after this. For more great Double Tap TV content, visit ami.ca slash Double Tap. This is Double Tap TV. We are back on Double Tap TV. Thank you guys for sticking through that break because we're talking all about smart glasses today. I am Marka Flanlo with Stephen Scott and Stephen is standing by with our very special guest this week from TCL. Yep, thanks, Mark. Let's welcome Stefan Strait on deck here on Double Tap TV. He is the General Manager for Global Marketing at TCL. Stefan, great to have you on the show. Uh, for those who haven't come across your company, tell us about TCL. So TCL is uh, a very large consumer electronics company, and uh, we are operating in many different product categories. So TV is probably our most famous product category, where we are the number two in the world. Uh, very successful, but also our home appliance and, and building this total ecosystem uh, of the smart home. And then when you look in the mobile category, TCL is in this business since more than 20 years. So we are one of the you know uh, companies which are there from the beginning of the mobile industry and also survived all this time. But we have been operating under the Alcatel brands uh, some for some years as well under the BlackBerry mobile brand, and the, we also have Palm. And then on top of that, besides of all these consumer electronic companies, we also have uh, more like business-to-business um, -business, uh, part of our uh, company, which is uh, components and specifically display manufacturing. So we have invested more than $30 billion in our display manufacturing capabilities, but also technologies, because we believe in the future, there will be so many more products coming and the display will be a very uh, important component of many, many more products, which maybe we, today we don't think about. So today we're talking about these new Nextwear G glasses from TCL. Next is, you know, spelled N-X-T. Um, how did TCL get into the wearable space, especially the wearable display category? This is relatively new in the smart tech across the board. So, you know, as, as, as we have this uh, capability to do our own displays, we are experimenting a lot in the display technology and the future, how displays look like. So, of course, we do a lot when it comes about flexible, foldable display technologies, uh, because we believe like this will really be disruptive in the market that we can create completely new product form factors again. And as part of that, we also have explored one product form factor, which was about uh, a display or a phone which you can wrap around your wrist. We call this kind of a wearable phone, right? And then we came to the conclusion, okay, if we can do this, where else can you wear displays or where could it be beneficial? So we started to think how to build in displays into the glasses. And uh, be experimenting in this as well, and also understand the trend which is going on in the market where you see a lot of the younger generation not really uh, buying large you know, displays or TVs for home anymore because they consume all the content through their mobile devices, like TikTok, YouTube, and, and you know, their snacking content. But from time to time, they also want to um, watch a blockbuster movie. And for that, then, you know, the experience is not very good to just do this for whatever, two hours on a mobile screen. So then you have actually, with these glasses, you have your 140 inch screen, portable, you know, and give you a cinematic immersive experience, and you can bring it wherever you want to go. And you just put on these glasses and you see the same what you see on uh, your PC or um, on your phone or on your tablet. So this kind of a portable 140 inch screen, which you can bring wherever you want to go. So you very kindly sent me those glasses. Uh, I, I know Mark is extremely jealous. Um, talk us through the design of these Nextwear G glasses from TCL. 
Okay, so you know these glasses. What we looked at is um, to keep these as light as possible. Okay, so they are actually just hundred grams, and then there is a cable attached, which is another uh, thirty grams. Why we did it like this is we have no batteries built in, um, so the power comes through the cable from the device which you connect to. That makes that keeps the the product of the glasses very light, and you can wear it for a long time. Also, we looked at that, um, you know, there is uh, certain designs which are important that we have different nose pads. So I can show you this part of the kit, you know, because people have different sizes of noses. And if you are somebody like me uh, wearing glasses, um, you can have this little accessory here, which uh, simply you can bring uh, to your specialist, you get your corrective lenses, and then uh, you have it for all kind of eye qualities, so to say, what you what you would need to have, that you have a perfect viewing experience. It is nothing to do with VR or AR. It's purely taking your display, what you have on your PC or on your phone, and displaying this with 140 inch. There's also two small loudspeakers built in uh, in the device, you know here that you can use, but we recommend, of course, that you use your wired headphones or maybe your Bluetooth headphones for a better audio experience. You know, when I was looking these up online, it says the product information, it says that these are designed for immersion, not isolation. How do those differ? What, what does that mean? Well, immersion is, of course, that if you if you want to share, I mean, if you want to look at something on a small screen, etc., you know, this this is sometimes difficult. You don't see all the details, or it's difficult to work on a spreadsheet. Or you know, for movie and gaming, it would be lovely to have a very large screen in front of you. What, however, where we say like it's not isolation. If you compare this with other VR headsets, typically they completely black you out and close your eyes. So you don't know, you don't see anything about you, your surroundings. These glasses, when you wear it, you can still see your surrounding and your keyboard and you see if somebody's approaching you and you're not getting dizzy, okay? So, you know, think, for example, sitting in an airplane, leaning back, watching a movie, um, you see if somebody comes to you and approaches you, brings you something to eat or something to drink, or if you're sitting at home on the sofa and your pets are running around or, you know, family members, you, you don't miss that out. You still see that. And that's a very comfortable experience because there's a number of people who don't like this, um, this situation where they don't realize anything uh, uh, around them, what is going on. Stefan, stick around. We have more conversation we want to get to, more questions, especially from the audience who have been emailing us furiously to feedback at ami.ca. They also reach out on Twitter, which is at Double Tap Canada. So if you're not following us, do that, at Double Tap Canada, and use that hashtag, which is Ask Double Tap. We take a quick break and come back and continue this conversation after this. For more great Double Tap TV content, visit ami.ca slash Double Tap. This is Double Tap TV. Welcome back to Double Tap TV, talking all things smart glasses from TCL this week. Thank you guys so much for being here. As I constantly tell you, because I constantly want to hear from you, uh, email us feedback at ami.ca and reach out on Twitter. If you're not already following us, it is at Double Tap Canada and use that hashtag, which is Ask Double Tap. Mark Aflalo and Stephen Scott with you each and every single week, but we are joined by a guest, Stefan Streit from TCL this week. Stefan, tell us, who's going to buy these glasses? What is the use case in the audience? Well, it is actually, there is use cases for all of it. Um, it is, of course, it is about entertainment as well. Okay? So, you know, also the matter of fact that the display is in front of your eyes. You know, if you lean back or lie down on your sofa, actually the display always moves with you. Okay, it's not that you need to make so take some strange positions on your sofa or on your bed. You actually have it right in front of you. Then think about your next long haul flight, you know. Maybe if you're in the economy class and you have these little screens in front of you, it's not so pleasant to look at. If you have these glasses, you know, and you can lean back and you have a 140 inch screen in front of you, of course, fantastic experience. Same for commuting. So we're talking as not just uh, talking to airlines and uh, we're also talking to uh, some train uh, companies in Japan, etc. They see a lot for, about the commuting, but also for the longer uh, trips which is uh, happening. But then it's also, you know, just, just for younger people, which maybe don't have their extra uh, display at home or just starting their apartment, um, they you know, or don't have the space for a large display, but sometimes they also want to have this big screen. And then I think, 
you know, when it comes to business, you know, again, if you're sitting in an airport lounge or in a coffee shop, you don't want to have people staring at your screen of the PC. Um, then you just put down your glasses and only you can see, you know, and you can keep, so to say, the, the information confidential. And also you don't disturb other people, you know, with what might be on your screen. I want to go back to the point you made earlier that the glasses have a USB-C cable wired into the arm. Why go for wired and why not make them wireless? Um, so there's a lot of pros and cons, okay? So of course, uh, not having a wire is, is more comfortable to wear, right? But then if we add weight uh, with the batteries and also processing power into the device, uh, also the device gets more hot, you know, more warm around your head. And this is something which is uh, people feel uncomfortable. You know, so this is why at this stage we choose the solution using a wired cable because that keeps the glasses um, uh, light and also they don't become warm and anything, and they can connect it to all kind of devices. But yes, let's say in the future when maybe also battery technology uh, is 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 getting lighter and more flexible, then and and you can make these still light um, um, glasses. Then, of course, uh, we're looking as well to make this uh, as a wireless version. We could have done this one already, you know, wireless, but then you would have the disadvantage of weight uh, on your on your face. But also, you know, some some devices get uh, warmer when you use them for a long time. You talked about a number of use cases for this type of product. What about gaming? I was thinking about this, you know, could I use these to play my favorite games on my phone or my computer? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I would say, you know, I'm not, I'm personally not a big gamer and uh, just doing some casual game, but I, I enjoy, for example, to use the glasses together with my phone. If I use my phone and I do a kind of a casual racing game where you use the phone as a steering wheel, but then still my thumbs need to maybe do some controlling on the display and then I don't see any more where to drive. Using the glasses, I can keep my head straight, looking straight, and I actually do like driving a car, you know, or a racing game. So that is, that is cool things. And how much are we expecting to pay for these glasses, Stefan? Yeah, so the price tag for these glasses, I can give you the euro price, okay, because that is that is what we have to find, is 599 euro. Stefan Streit, thank you so much for joining us this week on Double Tap TV, straight from TCL headquarters. So, Stephen Scott... Now that we've let Stefan go, tell me, what do you what do you really think about these glasses? Okay, um, so here's the truth of it. I think they're great if you can see. <laughs> right now, I know that sounds a bit bizarre, um, but, you know, let me talk you through it. So, you know, the level of vision I've got, yes, I can see something on the screen, but it, it feels to me, this is the way I would describe it, it's like I'm inside a cinema looking at a 140-inch screen, but I'm sitting at the very back of the cinema. Now, for someone who's got full sight, that probably doesn't mean very much. But for someone who's visually impaired, that means you're seeing a big blur. And that's the problem for me. I was kind of hoping that it would feel a bit closer. And it's not. It feels quite far away to me. And I fear that people with my level of vision and you know equal or, or worse would not benefit from these at all. I do like the fact that the sound is also included as part of the glasses. We didn't mention that but the sound is in there as well, uh, actually in the arms, a bit like the Bose frames that I wear every week, which are very similar to that, in, in that sort of sense of the, the uh, audio is coming from the arms of the glasses. Um, but I think that overall, they are, they're very comfortable to wear, only 100 grams, an extra 30 grams added with the cable. Um, so it's not heavy, and they don't feel tight on my head, which is pleasant, and it means that I can lie in bed with them, and I can actually consume content. The USB-C thing is fine, of course, it means it doesn't work with an iPhone, which is a bit annoying. Uh, it does work with iPads, it does work with PCs, and any PC or Mac with a USB-C connection. It does have to have a DisplayPort USB 4 connection, so uh, that's, that's quite important because it has to be able to send the video signal as well as the data. So, you know, as long as you've got that in your machine, you'll be fine, and most PC laptops, MacBooks, iPads will have that, uh, but you will have to have an Android phone like the TCL Pro range if you want to use it. Overall, I think it's a great product. I think you will love it, Mark. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to that package arriving from you any any day now. I mean, if you get it in the post now, 
should be here in about a week or so, and then I can give you a real good example of how. I'll, I'll get right on but that. All joking aside, <laughs> all joking aside, it's nice to see a company push the boundaries and actually release a product like this, as opposed to just talk about it or let rumors decide what the fate of this type of uh, category is, because we are itching for some kind of smart glasses from many a company, let alone TCL. Yes, although I think we'd all have rather heard that it was actual smart glasses with a camera in them, um, you know, and a few other smart features rather than just a mirror display of what's on your phone or your computer. I, I don't know how popular this will be, but it is interesting to see this category start to emerge in new ways. Um, of course, everyone's waiting for the first smart glasses, very similar, I guess, to what Google brought out a few years ago. Will Apple be first? probably. And what will that look like? What will that mean? I think we're all very excited about that. These are not that kind of smart glass. Do not buy these if you think you can walk down the street with these on and you can, you know, catch up with your messages or, you know, get AI through them and all that. That's not what these are. These are essentially an extension of your desktop screen or your tablet or your phone screen. So what you're saying is wear them on a train, but don't walk through traffic with them. Do not walk through traffic or you will be um, destroyed by the traffic, I would imagine. Uh, do not do that. Um, we'll take them off. Uh, you, you can, I mean, it, interestingly, it does say in the, the information that you can look around, you know, your surroundings with them on. You can, you can look under them or you can look over them like you can any pair of glasses, uh, but you can't see directly through them like we thought we might be able to. Um, that seems to me something that's missing. If that was possible, that would have made it actually an, a, a, maybe a more interesting proposition. Uh, but that's not the case here. These are very much for sitting in a static position and consuming that content, which again, with the wire there, that's maybe not a bad thing. That brings a conclusion to this week's episode. Thank you so much for being here. On behalf of Stephen Scott, I am Marka Flalo. We will speak to you again on our next edition of Double Tap TV. Hosted by Marka Flalo and Stephen Scott. Editing, Jordan Steves and Marka Flalo. Voiceover, Anna Vicino. Integrated Described Video Specialist, Ron Rickford. Coordinating Producer, Jennifer Johnson. Director of Production, Kara Nye. Director of Programming, Brian Perdue. VP Content Development and Programming, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Copyright 2021, Accessible Media, Inc.